Have you ever wondered if any of these 3D printing companies are any good? Let's find out. So for a little backstory on this idea, I initially intended to compare FDM 3D printed Vinci's from each company to this Vinci I made on my Prusa Mini, but some of the companies didn't have an FDM 3D printed option. So instead I ended up just going with whatever option was cheapest, and as you'll see, some of the Vinci's are not printed using an FDM 3D printer. But either way, hopefully this video will give you an idea of which company to try if you want to do a small production run and don't have your own print farm. This first box is from JLC PCB and it came from China and it was only $7. So over Overall, good price, but again, sometimes China makes some questionable products. So uh, open it up and it's pretty impressed with the print quality overall. There's some small white specks kind of on the perimeter here, but overall pretty comparable with the Prusa print. It is made out of ABS, which is a little bit stronger plastic than the PLA that I printed with the Prusa, but in general, the surface finish is very acceptable and I think I'm overall pretty happy with this part given the price point. So the next box that I opened was from Shapeways and something interesting to know about this company is that they have a marketplace where you can upload your designs and list them for sale. And as you make the sale, Shapeways will 3D print your models and fulfill the orders for you for a percentage of the sale. So this is a good option if you're looking to sell your 3D prints without building out a large 3D printer farm. And this part was really impressive to me. It was made out of white, natural, versatile plastic and I actually don't even know what printing process they used here, but the surface quality is really good. And it's made out of white because that was just the natural color of the plastic. I think I went with this because they charged additional for making it black or I would have made it black. But again, this is just kind of the cheapest option that they had. And it was only $18 to print and a $12 delivery fee. So right at $30. So for the quality, this is really a nice print. And if you compare this to the Prusa printed one or the JLC PCB, one it's really a step above for sure so thought that that was very interesting that it was such high quality for a relatively affordable price considering what some of these other ones cost so the third box that I opened was from fictive and it was made out of nylon 12 but it was a fdm 3d printed part and just to reiterate again i was just picking the cheapest part whatever that was so that's why i ended up with fdm here again there was some mjf parts that were pretty similar price which in retrospect i would would just purchase those as well to compare them but i did pick the cheapest one available uh, for this particular print and as you can see it's a acceptable part but definitely not something to really brag about uh, from my perspective i think it's something that could be used for sure and again nylon is a pretty desirable material especially for engineering purposes but as far as surface finish it definitely leaves something to be desired and that's especially true compared to the shapeways part which we just looked at previously one small thing fictive did that i liked was that they sent me this mouse pad for placing my first order. It's pretty large and it's actually something that I think I'm gonna use, so I like that. All right, now on to the fourth box. This is from Protolab slash Hubs. I believe that these companies are combining, so their names kind of get mixed together, but Protolabs is what's on the box. So this part is a PA12 black NJF part, and this is a really, really nice print, but it's also very expensive. It was $96, so it was $63 to print it and a $33 delivery fee never actually seen an mjf part in person before and this is just really impressive if you've never seen it before it's really high quality there's really basically no layer lines and the texture is really nice so it's actually pretty similar to the shapeways part just a little more dense so i don't think shapeways is mjf i think it's slightly different but i'm not 100 percent sure on that to be honest but again this is 96 dollars so very expensive benchy might be setting the record for the most expensive benchy ever to be honest but it's it's really nice. Okay, and so for the last part, it's from Zometry. It's a FDM ABS 3D printed part, and it only costs $18. And part of the reason behind that is I got free shipping for whatever reason. And it seems like, from my perspective, the Zometry was outsourcing this. I went through some type of match process before they fulfilled the order, so it seemed like they were getting bids for the order, and then someone finally accepted it and kind of moved forward from there. But overall, I don't think that this is my top pick by any means. I actually think it's the worst quality of the five 
5 and the price is pretty similar to some of the other ones so I think there are better options on this list for sure. Alright so to sum everything up I want to give out my awards for this unscientific comparison so for the print that I like the most it's the PA12 black MJF. For those of you that don't know MJF stands for multi-jet fusion. It's a technique that's typically associated with HP printers but I think Stratasys also has these printers as well now and it's powder based but doesn't really require any supports and is a really interesting way to 3d print stuff and as you can see it's a really high quality result the best bang for your buck though in my opinion is shapeways it was only 30 dollars for this really nice white print uh, compared to the protolabs print it's a third of the cost uh, the shapeways one is 30 the protolabs was 96 delivered so if i was in the market to buy a 3d print part from one of these companies i would definitely go with shapeways just because of the quality to price ratio there so definitely check them out and again none of these are sponsored i bought all these with my own money so for the other companies on the list i think jlc pcb would be my top pick as far as a fdm 3d printed part it's the cheapest and also the highest quality it is a chinese company and their website is a little sketchy but overall uh, i think that their quality is is pretty high for what you pay for it so then as far as the difference between fictive and zometry i feel like fictive might have some good options i just again went for the cheapest one and the nylon 12 was okay but definitely not quite as high quality as a jlc pcb but again it is a different material so it's not a apples to apples comparison for zometry i honestly would not recommend them they are the second cheapest though so i guess if you want a cheap fdm part without paying a chinese company then you can go with zometry hopefully y'all got something out of this maybe this will help you make your decision when you're trying to pick between different 3d printing companies on which one you want to go with and probably going to do more videos like this so if you're interested in that please consider subscribing and thank you for watching